Hi! In this short video, we will review the most important changes in Stage Now 2.3, along with some less important but useful ones. Here's what we'll cover. Built-in Auto Software Update First of all, Stage Now 2.3 can now update itself automatically. When you log into Stage Now, you may see a yellow bar at the top of the screen. Click it to view details of the update. Here's what it looks like. If you don't want this feature, go to Stage Now Settings, top left of the screen, and toggle Check for Updates on Startup. Once you update Stage Now, it may also bring a new version of Stage Now Client and MX Framework, so you will get a new staging profile to deploy those on the device. Your existing profiles and settings will be preserved during upgrade, but having a backup is always a good idea, isn't it? OK, that's it. Let's move on. The second most important improvement in Stage Now is making the error messages and logs a lot more friendly. Previously, the only information you got from the error message was that there was an error. The rest was in logs that were pretty hard to sift through. For instance, a failed file download due to connectivity issue may also have generated errors about failing to open the file, failing to install application from that file, failing to run that app, etc. You had to unravel the whole thing to get to the root cause, digging through lots of XML and diagnostic information. The new error messages focus on the last staging error and display the information in a much friendlier way. For multiple errors, you would see the error number as well. For each error, you can now clearly see the setting type so that you know specifically where to go to fix the error. In the possible problems section, you can see what the problem might be in a layman's language. For example, the file manager FTP client cannot connect to the FTP server, so it gives you actionable information to solve the problem. How nice is that? We will be releasing an in-depth video on troubleshooting Stage Now error messages and logs. Be sure to check it out when you need more information. Stage Now 2.3 also brings full support for MX 5.1 features. As before, to use the new version, just select it at the initial profile creation screen. Ensure your device will also be able to support the new features. Now to the list of features. The User Interface Manager, setting type UIMGR, has been updated to support more locales and even custom locales. Choosing Extended from the list opens up access to the new locales. Choosing Custom allows creating your own. The format is language underscore region. For example, DE underscore CH means German is the language and Switzerland is the country. Of course, your hardware must support the new locale. In the setting type section, select hosts MGR in the drop down menu and just enter the host name. The final and very useful improvement is launching an application by name. In previous versions of MX, when you needed to launch an app, you had to create an intent and specify the package, activity and class name. Finding those values took quite some work and understanding. Now you can make your life easier by using the App Manager type of setting and selecting the Launch an Application action. Then just provide an application name as you see it in the Android Launcher. For example, for Enterprise Home Screen, just type Enterprise Home Screen. You don't even need the package name. Of course, if your application did not install any launcher icons, you would still have to use the old intent method. Stage Now 2.3 also improves in certain aspects of MDM support. We've updated our Enroll in MDM wizard, so if you're dealing with SOTI or AirWatch, you will see the workflows tailored specifically for them instead of a generic workflow. This will make your life easier if you choose to use Stage Now for MDM enrolment. We might add more MDMs in future. 
Also, you may notice the Export for MDM button in the Publish screen. This only works with a specific list of MDMs that are supported by our MDM toolkit, which is different from the direct integration we offer for Tier 1 MDMs such as SOTI and AirWatch. The MDM toolkit allows customers using non-Tier 1 MDMs to utilise the full power of MX. It still requires the MDM vendor to adapt their software, but the extent of changes is a lot smaller, so we expect a lot more MDM vendors to offer these enhanced features to their customers. The list of MDMs supported by MDM Toolkit is ever-expanding, so we don't post it here. You can request it through your technical contact. And that's it. We've covered features such as the new Auto Software Update, the more comprehensible error logs, support for MX 5.1, and the improvements we've made to MDM support. What do you think? Leave us your comments.